Hello there. I'm Seth, and I'm a product director on the Google Plus platform. Thank you guys very much for having us here today. I really appreciate it. So we have two features that we're going to be launching today that are really exciting for users and for all of you the developers. Uh, first off, though, I'd like to give you guys just a little reminder and overview of the Google Plus platform that we launched about six months ago. So we launched Google Plus sign-in, and we've seen amazing things happen, both for developers and for users. First, we're helping developers and users find Android applications. So when a user logs in with Google on a website or on software like Fitbit, we're hearing from people that up to 60% of users are choosing to then download the Android application onto their phone. So log in on a website, download an application onto your Android device, and never have to touch it, which is unbelievable for Android distribution. Second, we've heard that users prefer Google Plus sign-in, and we've seen amazing statistics here. So between 30 and 50% of users across platforms are choosing Google to sign in to web applications, mobile applications like the ones all of you are building. So SoundCloud, 48% of users on the web are choosing Google to sign in. It's the most popular sign-in option. On Flickster, 35% of users on the web and 45% on Android are choosing Google as the way to sign in to their properties. Now, the third thing we've heard from developers, which, is, which really blew our minds, is that we're actually increasing the total number of registered users on sites as an absolute number. So just a way to get more registered users. We've heard from Pixiv, we've heard from Snapbet and others that between 10 and 20%, they're, they're seeing their registration rate on a daily basis grow over what it was before. So literally faster registration, which then creates a much better experience for those users on their site because Google Plus became an option to sign in on those properties. So I now want to talk to you about a couple of features that we're going to be launching today with the theme, really, of empowering content creators. So these features are awesome because for you, the developers, we're giving you tools that you can embed into your properties to make it easier for people creating content on your properties to get attribution in Google. So let's talk about the first feature, which is all about content that content creators create across the internet. So if you're an author and you log into something like WordPress with Google, so you use Google Plus to sign in to WordPress, we then know that as an author, if you create a blog post on WordPress, that you authored that post. When that post is then inside Google, either in search or in Google News, we're then able to give you attribution. So now, on something like a Google search result or in Google News, the author's name will appear, the author's, uh, how many people have that author in circles, potentially the author's picture will all appear on those results. And that'll also happen inside Google News. So this is an unbelievable way for you guys to empower content creators on your UGC platforms to go ahead and get more attribution inside Google, and then for, of course, users at Google to get more context around the content that they're discovering back at Google Properties. So we've got some amazing uh, launch partners for this. And this is going to be launching just with these partners for now, but we hope to be able to open it up more widely soon. So we have two platforms that we're really excited about, WordPress and TypePad, both of whom now will make it super easy. They're both launching Google Plus sign-in today. And it makes it super easy for all of their authors to get attribution back at Google. And then other partners that we're experimenting with, like about.com, WikiHow, SkillPages, and examiner.com. So Renan is here from WordPress, and he's going to go ahead and show us the implementation. Thanks. Hi, everybody. Uh, Renan Borakowin here with automaticwordpress.com. And really excited about the announcement today. Uh, WordPress as a platform is uh, powering over 19% of the web. Really big impact, and that's why we're really so excited to be working with Seth and his team at Google uh, in two specific areas around this Google Plus integration. Uh, the first one is basically the idea of WordPress as a digital hub and the ability to share that content to other social networks. And today we've added the ability to share your content from WordPress to Google Plus profiles. And if uh, you click over, so here is a, a basically a blog on, on WordPress. 
uh, writing about some nice uh, hiking and, and trails and some, some really nice photos. And here's the behind the scenes dashboard of WordPress. All right, so here is our publicized feature where you can connect to a bunch of different social services. And then today, you can, if you look right there, you see Google Plus is now available and is a way to integrate and authenticate. So we're really excited about that. If you go to the next slide, you'll see that basically a, a blogger is publishing a post. And then at the next screen, you'll see Seth's uh, Google uh, Plus stream basically showing that since he's following that blogger, there's now that content is available to them. And we think that's super exciting. It's a great way for people on WordPress to reach their social network, to gain exposure. And as Seth mentioned a little earlier, this authorship piece is also the second piece that's really making things exciting. Google now has a much better sense of who's authoring the content within WordPress. And that basically means that Google can show all kinds of rich information across their platform of who that author is. Um, in this example, you're seeing a photo, you're seeing the number of circles this person's in, and really a bunch of interesting integrations across Google that we think will help visitors of WordPress sites engage with the content even more, and authors of WordPress get their content out in a big way. And um, all of this is live right now on WordPress.com. For those running WordPress elsewhere, like on Google App Engine and GoDaddy and other places, they are using our plugin called Jetpack. That will be released in the coming days. We're just doing a few more tests, but uh, it's looking really good, and uh, we're really excited. So to continue the conversation, let me bring Seth back on. Cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate Thanks. it. All right, so we have one more feature that we want to talk about today. This is about empowering content creators who are creating content inside Google+. So millions of people are creating content at Google+. And we want to help those people get discovered, and we want to help users across the internet discover these people. And so today we're also going to announce embedded posts. So the way an embedded post works is if you go to your Google+, stream, any post that is public, you can just go ahead and click in the upper right area and grab, you know, click on embedded post and grab some embed code. When you put that embed code on a site, like on the Extra Mustard, which Renan pointed out is a WordPress site, so you put it on Extra Mustard, that post is now a fully functional post on that site across the internet. And when I say fully functional, you can follow the author that, you, that authored the post originally, you can go ahead and plus one the post, and you can comment on the post. And wherever that post appears, at Google+, on websites across the internet, it ties that conversation together. Right? So one seamless conversational experience across the internet around that author's work that originated on Google+, and it is now available everywhere. We've got some awesome launch partners for this as well. So our, our hosts here today, TechCrunch, we thank them very much. The Verge, Rolling Stone, Business Insider, Financial Times, a number of people have gone ahead, and you can go to their sites and find some stories today that have embedded posts uh, on, their, on their properties. So those are the two announcements today. The first one is about content created across the internet. And for you developers, if you have Google sign-in on your property, when a user of yours authors content on your property, and it then goes over to Google and is, it's found by our crawler and it's in search or it's in news or in other places around Google, we now know who wrote that. And we can give the author attribution back at Google. Awesome for developers and incredible for users, giving them more context around content that they want to discover. And then embedded posts. For authors who are creating fantastic content at Google+, making it incredibly easy for that content to spread across the internet with attribution for that author, of course, but it's fully functioning social experience. So following that author, commenting that, on that author's content, and really sparking a conversation. So to learn more about all of this, you can go to developers.google.com plus. And thank you all very much for having us here today.